Today in the news, Intel is all about developers, developers, developers. And we got our douchebag of the day. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Before that, let me take a second to thank today's video sponsor, WhoKeys. WhoKeys is where you can buy keys like this one for Windows 10 Pro. Get yourself a license with that link down in the description and click buy now and enter the code BTS25 for 25% off. And then you just submit your order. And once you're through with your payment and you receive your key, go to your computer, click on the Windows button, type in activate and update or change your product key. It's that simple. Let's get started with AMD. Ever since the RX 6000 series has been out, it's been hard, nay almost impossible, to get your hands on one of them. Personally, I blamed scalpers. I mean, clearly there's a need here and buying up GPUs to sell at a higher price seems like a no-brainer for easy money, but it turns out another big culprit might just be AMD themselves. While it seems like Nvidia is at least trying to get GPUs in the hands of people, whether it be scalpers, miners, or gamers, AMD simply seems to put this segment, aka the high-end desktop products, on the back burner. In a recent interview with AMD's CFO, Devinder Kumar, he said, our highest priority. Nope, editing snows here, he never said that exactly. I was misled by a bad translation that caught fire on Twitter and that was being reposted by several outlets, and I apologize for that. If you heard that from somewhere else, it's wrong. What he did say is that when doing allocation for their chips, and I quote, that if the customer, that would be someone like Asus or HP, if that customer doesn't give the signals with the specificity of timing in particular as to when they need the parts, they may not get the parts. So essentially, they want AIBs and OEMs to be ready with the rest of the chips to get the parts, which why wouldn't they be? In any case, he emphasizes that later by saying that in the PC space, you hear about max sales. You can get the chip, but you may not be able to get other components. He did mention that obviously they prioritize data center still, but no mention of mobile or laptop priority. I mean, it's understandable. The company is currently trying to fill up Frontier, the world's fastest exascale supercomputer that would have both their epic CPUs and CDNA-based GPUs. So it's understandable that it would divert manufacturing to that supercomputer. And also, a business is a business. You focus on what makes you the most money. It just sucks that it puts us, the whole segment, on the back of the line. I guess next year, it will probably mostly be Intel versus Nvidia. I think AMD's out of the running for a little while, at least until, you know, next year's next generation at the end of the year. There is good news though, sort of. It looks like TSMC might face order cutbacks for five and seven nanometer products. Why is that good news? Well, according to United Daily News, uh, Apple and MediaTek might reduce their orders. For Apple, it would be a cutback on previous generation smartphone processors. I mean, they've been hogging part of the TSMC 7 nanometer process since 2018. And they also have huge capacity allocated for TSMC's 5 nanometer process. So if they decide to, you know, cut back on the orders a little, someone else could come in and scoop that up, notably Intel and AMD. Then we got Intel in the news. While Alchemist is a couple of months away, I really hate that name by the way, the company seems intent on building the best team for it. In the last week alone, the company hired four senior positions, all related to development. There's development outreach, development relations, and dev-facing tool development. It's what we call a double dev. Like I say, every time there's news about Intel GPUs, drivers are key for this segment. And right now, Intel is holding a flathead screwdriver. If they come in with a lower performing GPU compared to Nvidia and AMD, but with amazing drivers, that would be great. But if both fail, it's a total failure and uh, it might be the end of Intel consumer GPUs. Again, that's why it seems like they're really putting such a huge focus on drivers by hiring these people. 
Then we have Valve in the news because, well, their new Steam Deck software just got leaked, or at least a version of it got leaked. We got some new screenshots courtesy of the uh, XPA over on Twitter, and it looks very similar to the library on PC, just with less clutter and, you know, a little more streamlined. Like it or not, this is going to become the Steam big picture mode, as said by a moderator on the Steam forum. And honestly, I don't hate it. I kind of like it. Now, let's do the game check. From the Epic Store, you can get Tharsis, an old game from 2016. It's a turn-based space strategy game with dice and cannibalism. Yeah, basically it's a let's try to turn everything into chaos as fast as possible game. At least, that's how I see it and probably what I will do. Then we have Speed Brawl. Personally, I love brawler games and this seems like a good one. It's fast paced, momentum driven, and super colorful. It almost reminds me of Beautiful Joe, except it's completely different. And lastly, I got a story for you with the idiot of the day. A New York State County employee named Christopher Naples is facing a slew of charges and grand larceny for mining. Yes, the cryptocurrency mining. How did he get these charges? Well, he's the IT supervisor at a Long Island government facility. Apparently, he had around 46 computers hidden under floors, in walls, and in unused electrical panels at the office he worked at. All of them, 46 of them, mining that good, good crypto. Now, how did they catch him? Well, they started to become suspicious after the county's internet system slowed down and when the office required air conditioning repairs. Makes sense since, you know, mining throws off a lot of heat. After that, they started investigating and they caught him. According to the DA, he stole around $30,000 in electrical. I mean, he's really dumb. I mean, he is or was the IT supervisor. Do you know how much power you had if you were just smart? Just go up to the people that work desk jobs, tell them jargony tech stuff, convince them that uh, you have an upgrade for them ready, slip that GPU in their PC, and just let her rip, dude. If you're gonna steal, at least do it right. I do not condone stealing. I am not a thief. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you wanna talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video, right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my goose, and I'll see you on the next one. Yes, I said goose.